Okay, so today I'm going to build, uh, basically it's one of the easiest antennas to build, and that's called a traditional half-wave dipole. I'm going to manufacture it for 11 meter band, which is the CB band. Uh, as the name suggests, the length of the antenna is about half the wavelength of the frequency the antenna is cut for. So uh, the 11 meter band, a half a wave would be approximately 5.5 meters. Um, obviously if you go a little higher in frequency the antenna gets a little shorter, a little lower in frequency the antenna gets a little longer. Uh, the half wave dipole consists of two quarter quarter wave sides for a total of a half wavelength. And uh, in order to do this, we're, in order to calculate the exact uh, size, we're going to use the formula 300 uh, divided by the frequency divided by 4 multiplied by the velocity factor of the material you're using to construct your antenna. In my case, I use copper wire and I'm, uh, I'm going to basically optimize it for the frequency 27.385 megahertz, which is uh, channel 38. So in this case we'll be using 300 divided by 27.385 divided 4 times 0.95, which is the velocity factor of copper wire. And that will give us a total length for our quarter wave elements of 2.6 meters or 8.67 feet or 104 inches per side. Uh, to construct the antenna you're going to need a couple of different things. You're going to need copper wire. I used basically this speaker wire. It's an 8 gauge stranded uh, insulated wire. Uh, I also used the SO239 connector which will enable your uh, PL259s to attach on. And I use these clevises so that when you want to lengthen or shorten your antenna uh, to get a perfect SWR match, you don't have to cut it. You can simply shorten it up and fold it back on itself. So here's my fully constructed dipole. Um, it is 208 inches from end to end, or roughly uh, 17 and a half feet roughly as you can see I folded the wire back on itself here in case I need to shorten or uh, lengthen it and use the clevises just to uh, keep the cable in place and I did that at both ends so each of these sides is 104 inches uh, I took a center spindle from a CD case and um, I attach the, the SO329 to it. Uh, one wire of uh, one quarter element goes to the center port, the other goes to the outside of the connector itself. Okay, so we got the antenna strung up in the garage just for testing purposes. The feed line is right in the center of the dipole with one element going one way, one element going the other. I ran this off my mobile because I don't have a base station radio yet. So our RG8 is going all the way to the truck. You can see right here, cable's going in. We're going to give it a test on 38. SWR 1.5. So I haven't even trimmed it yet, so with a little trim I can bring that down to probably flat SWR. Mission accomplished. We'll have a listen. You can hear some DX coming in there. Now let's give it a try. CQDX for radio check, calling CQDX for radio check, 587, Alberta, Canada.
Hey, Roger, Roger. Uh, just uh, testing out a dipole. I just built my first antenna. Just built my first antenna, and I'm just testing to make sure that it's sounding good. Okay, so at least I know this antenna is getting out. Roger. <laughs> well, it must be getting out if you can hear me from Alberta, Canada, and you're on DX. Hey Roger, we'll appreciate the comeback anyway. At least it's uh, making the definite output. It's a uh, first first attempt at a at a cheap old dipole until I get my Antron on the house. Hey Roger, what's your QTH by the way? Hey Roger, well you're definitely sounding good back here in Alberta, and I definitely appreciate the comeback to. Uh, just to test this old rig out on this antenna tonight, sir. So we'll wave four fingers and a thumb at you. You have yourself a great night. 73s. Yeah, Roger. Appreciate that. Appreciate that for sure. Uh, 587 is going to back out of here and go get some dinner now. Okay, 587, 1707, Seattle.